Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Natalie. Today's video is going to be really fun. I recently made a video called 23 things I no longer buy and in that video I talked about things I don't buy and one of those things was packaged snacks. So things like granola bars, Nature Valley bars, all that kind of stuff. And I mentioned how I make my own. So today I wanted to show you guys how I actually make my own homemade granola bars. Guys, they are so good. They're really fun because you get to switch out what you want to put in it. Today is going to be like chocolate chips and coconut, but you could do like craisins or different nuts and stuff. So yeah, it's really, really fun. I love making my own granola bars because not only are they cheaper, but also they save a lot on waste. So I don't have to create waste. It's waste free and very cost effective. I figured this would be very useful information for you guys to have. And I'm going to show you guys how to make these super delicious, amazing, healthy granola bars. Come on over to the kitchen. First of all, I apologize for the lighting in this kitchen. This is a really, really basic recipe. You don't need anything out of the ordinary. So I'm just gonna show you what you guys need to actually make this recipe. So here's the equipment that you're going to need. A mixer, a bowl, a basic spoon, a baking sheet that looks like it was caught in fire, cooking spray, an oven, and a knife. So that is all the equipment you're going to need. As for ingredients, you need all natural peanut butter, a giant tub of honey that will last you a million years, oil, eggs, vanilla, oats, brown sugar, coconut, salt, and the good old chocolate chips. So the very first thing you want to do is turn your oven on to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or whatever that is in Celsius, like 180 or something. And then you want to plug in that mixer. Beautiful. Lift that lid and first you're going to want to put in an overflowing almost a cup of all natural peanut butter. Yeah, we're going to need something to uh, scrape that out. Then you want two thirds of a cup of raw like natural honey. Now this is just one third of a cup so I'm going to fill it twice. But And then you want two eggs. We're going to try the one hander. I haven't done this in a long time. Oh, oh. Now we have four tablespoons of canola oil. and two teaspoons of vanilla. Then we wanna lower this, lock it, and basically just beat it until it's really well mixed. Then we wanna take our spatula, which I don't think I mentioned in what you need, but you wanna take your spatula Lift this up and give it a good little scrape to make sure that you got all the stuff on the bottom. It looks pretty evenly distributed, but I'm going to mix it quickly just one last time to make sure it's evenly distributed. Now I know this seems crazy, but you're going to want seven cups of oats. This is going to make a lot. I'm prepping you for freezer bars. One two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm actually just remembering, I wanted to replace one of those cups of oats with a cup of coconut, because I think it just adds, whoa! It just adds more like flavor to it in my opinion. So we'll do that. And then you're gonna need about a cup of packed brown sugar. I find that so satisfying, it's like, moon sand. Does anyone just love the taste of brown sugar straight? I could eat a whole freaking bowl of it. And then for salt, to, whoa, that is more than I wanted. For salt, I honestly just do like a couple pinches because I don't know. I just don't really measure it. Then you want to take your spoon and just kind of mix it around so it's more evenly distributed because when we add it to our wet ingredients, we don't want like lumps of brown sugar. Like I would hate to actually no, I would love to have a bar that's basically just brown sugar, but I wouldn't like a bar that is just oats. So we're just going to mix this together and kind of get it distributed as best as we can. Now that we have that mixed, we are going to add 
all of this to the bowl. Now I'm getting a little bit worried because this looks like a lot. I have made this before, but I am doing a bigger batch than I normally do. And I'm scared this is gonna be too much for this mixer to handle. Let's see how it does. <laughs> This is too much. Now there are oats all over the floor. It's just a snack for Maven later, you know? Okay, let's salvage what we can off the counter. Pop that back in. So just to be safe, I'm gonna kind of wrap this around. Wow, that was stupid. I shouldn't have made such a big batch. I'm gonna wrap that around and try again. Now we're just mixing. So after you've done that and it feels like pretty evenly distributed. It should be pretty sticky. Then you want to add chocolate chips. So personally, I like it chocolate chippy. <laughs> so I'm gonna do one cup and then a little bit more. Just pour your chocolate chips in there. Add a little bit more. And then we're going to attempt to mix this again, but this time I'm not gonna make the mistake and I'm gonna cover it right from the beginning. I think this is probably good. I don't wanna kill my mixer, so. Okay. That looks pretty good. I'm not gonna touch it anymore. That is so much. Make sure you get the edges, or else it'll stick. Make sure it's pretty generously sprayed. Then you wanna take this giant bowl of granola bar, and you're going to try to gracefully plop it onto this pan. There's so much. I usually don't make a batch this big. Every time I make these, I tell myself I'm gonna freeze them, but then they get in my belly faster than they can get in the freezer, so. This is where you just want clean hands, and I just kinda press it down. I know it's very uneven right now, but just try to like evenly spread it out over your pan, and I'm trying to remember what size pan this is, but it's just like a half baking sheet. I broke my spatula. Maybe choose a sturdier spatula, or uh, just use your hands like I said in the beginning. <laughs> so I just finished packing this down. You want it to be packed down pretty well because after it's baked, you don't really want it like falling apart. So if it's packed down good, then it'll bake and hold itself together really well. So once you have that done, you just want to pop it in the oven. Holy hell, that's heavy. Then you want to bake it, where's the timer? for 12 to 15 minutes, so I always start at 12. But basically, you just wanna bake it until the edges are just getting a little bit brown, and just until it's like set and feels good, kinda like cookie-like. You don't want it like hard, you want it kinda soft, but it'll feel set. Anyway, we're gonna wait 11 minutes now, and we'll see what they look like when they come out of the oven. In the meantime, we can clean this horrible mess. <laughs> really disgusting looks like they're browning but I'm feeling like they need another minute or two okay so I would say that these are done like that freaking looks delicious golden brown edges very nice and it's like when you touch it it feels soft, like it still squishes down, but it feels set. It's kind of hard to describe. Anyway, so these are done. I'm gonna let these cool for, I don't know, probably 15, even 20 minutes. Keep in mind that these will continue to cook in the pan. So even though it feels a little bit soft, it's not gonna stay like that as it cools. And as it sits in that hot pan, it's gonna kind of set a little bit more. All right, so these are pretty much cooled now. So I'm gonna cut them into just bar shapes so that I can put them in a Tupperware and freeze them. So I have these all cut up into just basic bar shapes. I have it cut three by eight. So we're looking at about, what's that? 24, two dozen bars. So I transferred these over to cooling racks and look how good these look. They smell so good. Anyways, you guys, that's basically all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. And I really hope you guys try this recipe. If you do, please leave a comment down below and let me know if you did and what you thought. And if you have pictures, send them to me on my Instagram. My Instagram handle is the 
Natalie Page. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I have like nothing on that channel right now. I just started it and I'm having a hard time getting the motivation to post things because I have like one follower. So if you guys could show me some love on that account, that would be greatly appreciated. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. And if you wanna see more videos from me, hit that subscribe button too, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>